Uh, good afternoon. Uh, structural analysis made fun and easy. Um, so this is the first video on moment area method for symmetrical bending. Um, this is um, with oh, uh, a little credit uh, reference to uh, chapter 13, section 3, structural and stress analysis by THG Megson. Uh, so this method is particularly useful when deflection at a part particular point is required. Graphical. This is also known as graphical semi-graphical method. Uh, this is example one. Simply supported single span beam carrying point load at center. Symmetrical constant EI. So level of difficulty very very easy. One out of ten. Um, sorry about the presentation but I <coughs> need more time to um, type this up in Word. I'm going to do that as soon as I can. So uh, please like the video and um, stay tuned for more videos. Please message me or leave any. Please message me with or leave any question in the comments. Happy to respond. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos. So, um, so yeah. Sorry about presentation, but I need more time to uh, redo this. But moment area method for deflection. Example one: simply supported beam with a point laid at the center. Um, so to make it easy, let's say L equals four and P equals ten kilonews, but that's later on. Um, so here I just done the sign convention is up is positive uh, left to right is positive x up uh, down to up it's positive y and anti-clockwise m moment bar z <coughs> so we've got a beam here uh, support uh, pin support at a roller pin at b so there's a um, um, there's a vertical uh, reaction at a and there's a uh, a horizontal there would be a horizontal reaction at A if there was another one but there's uh, um, so this is just really and there's a point load at the middle L over 2 this is really really simple I know it's just to get people started into the moment area method so um, so I, I just have to show you the working so it's just to simply support being with the point load so um, you do uh, equilibrium uh, vertical RA plus RA RB minus P equals 0 P8 equals RA plus RB so then take moments at about A minus P times L over 2 plus RB times L equals 0 RB equals P over 2 then substitute that back into equation 1 and you've got RA uh, RA equals P over 2 as well so RA equals RB equals P over 2 so um, so for the uh, moment area method you need to find the area so we, we're looking for the deflection at the centre so let's say we cut a section across the middle then we, we need to find the area of the moment uh, diagram so we know the max moment is at, at L over 2 and the maximum moment here is P over 2 as above times L over 2 which is P L over 4 uh, so we need the moment at the mid span to proceed so then just go over the page and we got how to find uh, the deflection in the middle now we've got to take the moment now we're going to take the um, the moments of the moment so this is the M because EI is constant so this is the moment diagram here but M over EI diagram is going to be the same just reduced in in the scale in the in um, in a vertical scale um, so we just got to find that the area of the uh, moment diagram on to the left hand side of the center and then times that take 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 the moment of that times the uh, point uh, reaction a so it's very simple is it not the area oh, I've tried to draw it out I'll draw it out again better better the area of the triangle is half times H um, times B so B is equal to M and M equals PL over 4 H is equal to L over 2 so the area of the triangle equals half times L over 2 times M over EI and as as, as above M equals PL over 4 so the area of the triangle equals to um, uh, L, uh, PL squared divided by 2 times 2 times 4 2 times 2 from front that's 16 so it's uh, P, uh, PL squared over 16 that's the area of the triangle and so now we've got just times that uh, the centroid of the triangle everyone knows is two thirds of the height so two thirds of L is um, 
the uh, lever arm so then you just do uh, so the, the moment the deflection is moment area uh, as divided by EI times Z equals to half um, times uh, L over 2 times PL over 4 that's the area and then times the lever arm times L over 3 so that gives you P times L times L times L divided by 2 times 2 times 4 times 3 2 times 3 is 4 times 4 is 16 times 3 is 48 so it's PL cubed divided by 48 EI divided by EI um, so it's really really simple that's why I said it's difficulty zero is level one um, thanks for watching make this a quick video I'm going to redo the presentation um, in word thanks for watching um, please like and subscribe to the please like the video and subscribe to the channel uh, Thanks for watching.